Hello guys, Barizenu, uh, it's been a while since we posted. Uh, yeah, sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> so I want to thank you guys for subscribing. We are at, I think, 500 and something subscribers. And that is a very good feat. Considering that it has been taken a, a while since I posted the last video. Uh, so welcome to this feature. We are talking about three things. We are talking about beauty. Uh, we are talking about pain and happiness and insecurities, among other things that will come later on. So I really hope you enjoy. I'm not going to elaborate much on what we are talking about, but I really hope you enjoy. Leave your comment, leave your feedback. Uh, tell us what you need to improve. Tell us who we should reach out to and we sure will. And if you also feel like you want to participate in the videos, I've left my number. You can call me, you can email me in my email and then we'll have a good time. So asante ni sana. I hope you enjoy. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us your name. People call me Karis. How old are you? I'm 22. We're here to talk about beauty and everything pertaining that. So I'm going to ask you a few questions and be free to answer however you want to. Okay. When was the last time you told that you were attractive or handsome or beautiful? <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Think when we, two, three to four months ago. How did that feel? Feels amazing. What do you think is your most prominent feature, a feature that you're proud of? Mm, physically. Physically, my height. Um, my eyes. Yeah, I think those. If you, are, if you had the ability to change one thing about yourself, what would that be? I'm not really that... I've not really thought about it, but... Body size, maybe. Um, if you're given a chance to live in any period in time in this life, what, which period would that be? In life, like, I think I'm comfortable in this period. Why? Um, first of all, because of technology and the way people have grown in ideas and mind and yeah i just think i mean i'm in the right period what do you think makes you attractive physical or otherwise otherwise no if is any <laughs> a physical attribute or any other attribute um physically i, I don't know but i can say um my attributes I would say I think I'm kind and I care a lot about people, a lot. Yeah. I care about what I, the actions I take towards someone. So this feature is about beauty and trying to raise awareness of people who have issues with themselves, self-esteem and whatnot. So for those people who have challenges or they feel small about themselves, what would you like to tell them? We are not all perfect someone might have something that you don't have and the vice versa. So I would always con um, encourage people who feel like they're belittled by their body that they need to be confident. You need to accept. It sounds so cliche, but you need to accept it and then move on. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us your name. My name is Lynette Kagan. How old are you? I'm 21. So you're here to talk about beauty. And be free, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Be free to answer however you want to. Okay. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> how often do you get told that you're beautiful? How often? Uh, that's tricky. Do I answer in terms of often, somehow, like, okay. A little often, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. When was the last time you told you beautiful? I'd say today morning. How did that make you feel? Beautiful. <laughs> what is your most prominent feature? A feature that you love about yourself? Um, physical. My eyes. What about your eyes? 
I think they're pretty. They have a very nice shape. I'd say so. If you had the ability to change one thing about yourself, what would that be? Uh, I'd say my lack of confidence in myself. Yeah. If you were to choose one period in time to live in, what period would that be? That would be right now. Why? This period. Uh, because I've discovered myself. I know I'm actually worth it. I belong here. Yeah, and like previously I used to feel like I'm forcing myself in a situation. But now I'm at a place where I feel like life is good. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us your name. Sharon. Yeah. Oh. Sharon Zugnitinsky Puris. A breather. <laughs> How old are you? 23 and a half. Alright, so we're here to talk about beauty. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Be free to answer however you want to. How often do you get told that you're beautiful? <laughs> when I when I did most of the times. And by my friends, so I don't know how I can quantify that, but not very often. <laughs> when was the last time? Mm. I'd say two days ago. How did that make you feel? Well, <laughs> well <laughs> I don't know. Just okay. What is your most prominent feature? Prominent, like the one I'm. You're proud, proud of. of. Mm, flat tummy. If you had the ability to change one thing about yourself, what would that be? The fact that I don't have hips. <laughs> even yeah. even when you sit. <laughs> even when I sit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you think makes you beautiful? The fact that I'm a good person inside. I think it's very good to set judge yourself, but. People say I am, so I believe them. Alright, what period in time would you want would you like to live in? Or do you have love to live in? Um I'd say before colonization, is that a period? <laughs> yeah. Alright. So <clears throat> this is a feature about beauty. Mm -hmm. For people who struggle with different things. Yeah. So what would you love to tell those people who are not self confident or who who feel a little bit less in some area or the other? Well, I'd say if you don't accept yourself, people will not accept you. So love yourself, feel good about yourself, and people will, like, will learn to like love your flaws. Yeah. All right. That's it. Would you like to sing for us? Yeah. Why not? What do you want? To okay. I'll sing "Scars to Your Beautiful" because <clears throat> we're talking about beauty. Oh, she just wants to be. Beautiful she goes, unnoticed she knows, no limits she craves, attention she raises, an image she prays to be sculpted by the sculptor, well, she don't see. <laughs> yeah, till then. <coughs> the chorus is the most beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. No scars to your beautiful, we're stars and we're beautiful. Oh. Miss Wits. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us your name. Uh, I'm Avi or Nimo. Yeah, any can do. How old are you? Mm -hmm. I'm 19. Yeah. So we're here to talk about beauty. Mm -hmm. So we're going to ask a few questions and feel free to answer however you want to. Okay. So, um, how often do you get told that you're beautiful? A lot. <laughs> I get that a lot. Yeah. When was the last time? Today. How did that make you feel? <gasps> awesome. <laughs> Alright. What is your most prominent feature? A feature about you physically that you like? Um, what? Mm -hmm. I think I love. I like uh -huh, how I smile. <laughs> yeah. And if you had the ability to change one thing about yourself, what would that be? Mm, nothing. I love myself the way I am. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. We're trying to raise awareness for people who mm -hmm. have challenges with themselves, mm -hmm. whatever issue that might be. Mm -hmm. So what did you tell people who 
who are not confident about themselves you just accept yourself yeah that's it uh, like just accepting yourself the way you are be confident with yourself and the rest will follow like ukishanza kukuwa confident na wewe mwenyewe the moment that you accept yourself people will accept you the way you are yeah all right what age would you want to live in mm, pardon what age would you want to live in um i don't know <laughs> uh-huh. i can see you have tattoos can you tell us a bit about them my tattoos yes yeah i have a lot of them so how many like 11 11 from not wrong 11 mhm about them my tattoos the, the ones that we can you can see oh the ones that you can see yeah first this one i got it with my boyfriend my ex boyfriend <laughs> mm-hmm. so it was um yeah, queen of hearts then he is his king yeah then this one i have mm-hmm. i have a tattoo like from here up to here mm-hmm. strength respect loyalty that defines me yeah Mhm. What else I have a heart with my sister's name. I love her. She's my best friend, my mentor, and then I have a rose. What else? <laughs> I have um, some words here. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Oh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also have a YouTube channel Living with Nemo. It's been long since I posted, but I'll be posting them soon. I've posted two videos yeah but as time goes by I'll be posting so subscribe like share comment and also subscribe here yeah that's it thank you hi hi welcome thank you tell us your name my name is Stephanie Nandela how old are you i'm 17 turning 18 next month so we're here to talk about beauty i've been to ask you a few questions feel free to answer however you want give us your opinion okay How often do you get told that you're beautiful? Um I wouldn't say often, maybe rarely because it isn't something that my friends or people I know would randomly just tell me I'm beautiful. When is the last time you told that you're beautiful? Yesterday by my mom. If you had the ability to change one thing about yourself, what would that be? Um at the moment, no. I wouldn't change anything right now. What feature about yourself are you most proud of? Um my height because it makes me confident. It makes me look confident. All right. So <clears throat> we're trying to sensitize people who have self-esteem issues on matters of beauty and everything pertaining to that. So what message would you tell those who are struggling with self-image? Okay, first of all, I think such cases are brought about by social media because that's how they portray maybe they portray um women are supposed to be slim and the cheekbones should be like a certain way so i would suggest if it's someone who is being influenced through social media about their social, about their image they should try and do a social media detox or declutter and actually go and discover who they really are in terms of the self image and their self esteem. All right, if you're given an abil- the ability to live in one period in time. Mhm. When would that be? The 90s. Why? Because I feel like that decade was so um simple and chill compared to like the 21st century. Uh how are you? How are you? I'm fine. Fine. <laughs> Tell us your name. My name is Faith. Uh, Faith Wangare Makolo. Yes. This is Jenna. So how old are you? I am 43 years old. How old is Jenna? Jenna is 4 and a half. And a half. She'll turn 5 in December. Right. So we're going to ask you a few questions concerning beauty. Feel free to answer however you want to. Yeah. Um how often do you get told that you're beautiful? How often? Yes. Um how often? Not very often. When was the last time? <laughs> I think that the same specific words. Wow. 
long time. <laughs> mm. Do you remember how that made you feel? Yeah, good. You feel good. And right. of course you doubt. You're like, are they serious? Am I nikusema tu? What is your most prominent feature? A feature that you're proud of? I think um my smile. Yeah. So if you had the ability to change one thing about yourself, what would that be? Nothing. I'm fine. Right. Yeah. So you're trying to raise awareness and mm -hmm. uh bring sensitivity on the topic of of beauty, people accepting themselves. So what would you tell people who who suffer from self-esteem issues because of one thing or the other about themselves? Mm -hmm. What would, what would your message be? Well, um self-esteem is most it doesn't develop overnight and also it is about how people perceive you, how you perceive yourself. So if you grew up with a lot of criticism, if you grew up with a lot of um you don't look good or your friends don't think you're good enough or you just didn't feel like you are good enough, then your self-esteem is poor. So I would encourage each one to accept themselves first of all the way they are because they are unique in themselves and you are made in God's image and therefore you can never change who you are makeup as it is is not the true picture of who you are so even as we use makeup and as we do all the things we need to do the first thing is to accept this is how my eyes look like this is how my fingers look like this is how i look like and you appreciate yourself and then when you appreciate yourself you enhance enhance a little bit of your makeup a little bit of the way you dress and of course the self confidence is key in self self esteem yeah so how do you think beauty has changed over the years oh it depends with what you are talking about i think when i look at my mother's uh, photo when she was in her 20s they were beautiful they would wear their mini dresses and their high heels no makeup i guess a froze on their heads and they looked fabulous but of course as time has gone by there is a lot of artificial beauty that is out there you see someone during the day they have artificial eyelashes artificial nails every hair everything and by the time the evening is done or you saw them in the morning you wouldn't believe it's the same person so i think we have overemphasized on beauty especially on the outer and forgotten the inner beauty this person's heart you know they have a good heart they are kind they are loving they are hurting what are we doing about it yeah the emphasis i think has moved from inner beauty to the outer beauty which for me is beginning to be more of a crisis than um, than in the years past yeah if you were to live in one period in time what would that period be i did fashion and design and i think i would want to live in the beginning of 1900 yeah why they had these beautiful dresses that had frills on them and they were fitting on the waist but flowing all the way to the feet i think the women looked fabulous karibu sana asante uh tell us your name my name is angela angela omobe how old are you i'm 53 how does that feel good all right <laughs> good <laughs> So <clears throat> we're here to talk about beauty. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. Feel free to answer however you want to. <laughs> How often do you get told that you're beautiful? Ah, uh, a few times. Yes. When was the last time? Um, I think yesterday. How did that feel? It feels good. What feature about yourself are you most proud? I think my my laughter and and my smile. <laughs> And if you had the ability to change one thing about yourself, what would that be? Hmm. I think um for me there are, there are, there are times when I have really struggled with those things. But then I think I got to a point. 
I think like in my mid 40s where I just learned to accept myself as I am and do the best with what I have. So I don't think if I'm given any opportunity to change anything, there's really anything about me I would change. Maybe I would want my hair to grow a little faster. <laughs> okay. If you if you had the chance to live in one period in time, mm -hmm. when would that be? I think my mid 40s to my to now. Why? Because I am more sure of who I am and more confident in who I am and people's opinions really don't matter so much anymore. <laughs> All right, so we're here to talk about we are sensitizing people about self-image and self-esteem. Yes. So what would you tell someone who is struggling with their self-identity mm -hmm. who has a low self-esteem? I would tell them to accept themselves really because there is really no other them and uh, Everybody has, has a purpose and a place in the world. It is important to just find it and be comfortable with that place and not really care so much about all the voices that are going to be around you. Because there are so many voices that are around us telling us that we are not good enough. And therefore you need to just shut those up and know what your place is and take it. Do you think beauty has changed over the years? I think the definition of beauty really depends on, on, on a person. Personally, I say beauty is as beauty does. <laughs> because you can look really good, but your actions really can nullify anything that would look beautiful. And I think over time, I think through the ages, that has really been the principle that there are people who can really look good, but because they don't act good, the, the beauty is not very visible. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.